I do not know how anyone can say Rome is overrated. It is one of my favorite place on earth. <laughs> I need some money for our trip. <laughs> our travel fund. Okay. 53. So we have a thousand dollars. Ciao, bella. <laughs> Good morning. I knew I loved this place, but I forgot how magical it is being here. Yeah. It really delivers, doesn't it? It's just so picturesque. A lot of graffiti, which I wasn't expecting as much, but besides that, I mean, it's gritty and it's personality, but everything you picture home to be, it is. I'm gonna go see Trevi Fountain album. It's about 6 a.m. here, no one's really up, so we're gonna be ahead of the pack. It doesn't look too crowded, actually. Oh my God, look at all that rubbish. Wow, that's so what they don't show you in the brochures. We've made it and there's people here, but like Danny said, not as bad, right? Yeah, and last time I came here, they were renovating and you really couldn't see much, whereas now you have full access. So those first 24 hours in Rome, I mean, it was good. Rome already is so surreal yep. and we were jet lagged on top of that, which added to it. it severely jet lagged. Severely jet lagged. So we were falling asleep at 5 p.m. but then waking up at 2 a.m. and going wandering around Trastevere, which is the amazing um, suburb that we're in. It really didn't seem real. But we wanted to explore more, even though we were jet lagged, tired, exhausted. We needed to see more. We're in Rome. Even just the cobblestones and the vines growing down the walls and the Italian language, like people singing while they're going to work, and that is so magical. That's my highlight. But then you also have the Colosseum and the Pantheon. Two things we're going to show you now. We're here. I came from the mud. I love it, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's cliche to come, and everyone knows the Colosseum. Once you're here, we're just talking on the walk here. Like, people used to come and watch people kill each other here. It's a strange thing to really ponder when you really sit down and think about it. It's like an MCG, but more bloodthirsty. Imagine coming here on the weekend to watch a man fight some lions. Yeah. It's just nuts that that used to be the society here, and that these buildings still remain. Try to catch me howling at the moon. They build anything that's amazing anymore. This is just really amazing architecture to still be standing. This is the closest you can get to time travel, I feel like, to yeah. go back and visit ancient times. That's right. Maybe the food is similar. If you're eating peasant food, <laughs> then yeah, for sure. Or a couple of peasants. <laughs> but uh, I have one more question. Why are you not entertained? Okay, 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 okay. This right here, this right here, this so far. Colosseum is amazing, yeah, wow. spectacular. It's so accessible too. It's easily walking distance from where we were staying, so we went several times. We even tried to get in the second time, but here's a pro tip. Unless you really like group tours, and I don't like group tours. Not a fan. Book in advance a private tour, because it is a very hot tourist trap, and you will have a lot of people there selling you tickets for a group tour, which is, in my opinion, quite excessive the price. Yeah. You're right, you're right in that assessment. It is very, it's a, it's a tourist trap, but of course everyone wants to see the Colosseum and we wanted to see inside, but also it was like a two hour wait because we hadn't booked in advance. My idea of luxury travel is not to be in a big group paying excessive prices and waiting for two hours in the hot sun. I would rather just go and do something that I enjoy doing. Yeah, so we saw it from the outside, which a lot of people say that's the best part anyway, right? Yeah. Just keep that in mind if you want to see the inside of the Colosseum. I've been inside before, that's why I was happy to stay outside because the outside is the best actually. Before you met me? Yeah. Couldn't have been fun. <laughs> no, 
nothing was from my foyer, nothing. Anyway, this wouldn't be a video about Rome without going to the home of the Catholic Church, the Vatican. Then he has a special church pants on. We don't have a ticket for the Vatican. We didn't get one online. So we're going to go and line up and hopefully get a ticket and go and have a look. We'll go say hello to the Pope. And if we don't get one, it doesn't matter because we're not really a fan of their favourite pastime. No. First time around was a sinner And you let me know Second time around was a winner Now it's raining gold Champagne showers laced with poison How am I the last to know? Vatican City is about half an hour or just over two kilometers walk from where we're staying in Trastevere. Yep, so we've been walking everywhere. It's been good because we've been eating a lot of pizza. I have to say though, it is hot doing this in long pants, but yeah. I have to wear long pants because otherwise I'm not allowed in the Vatican. Me as a male, I can wear shorts. So, mm. Does religion make sense? We have arrived. And one of the most sacred places on earth, apparently. It's its own city with its own law. Hopefully you're allowed your camera in. Well, yeah, I'm not leaving it out. So it's either me and the camera or we're going back the other way. We don't worry about it. We know it's all good. We just keep on vibing. Dancing to the moon. We don't worry about it. We know it's all fine. We just keep this party. Hey guys, look in the bottom right corner. We're down here. We're going to talk this through. So uh, here's a few little things to consider. So you don't actually need a ticket to get into the Vatican. It's just a lineup, which is sometimes a big lineup out in the sun. So make sure you bring your hat and sunscreen. Yeah, it was hot, wasn't it, that day we went to? But um, you know, everyone's excited and you can see it in the distance. So it does get you through. But yeah, you don't need a ticket. So that's one thing to consider. It's very popular, but it is worth visiting. Yeah, like we alluded to and obviously made a few little humorous anecdotes. We're not huge religious types, but um, we can appreciate the building and the history, some of the history. It's not the religion that I don't agree with, it's the conduct. Well, that's another story for another video. The artwork is beautiful, the architecture is beautiful. It's had a huge impact on the way the world runs today. And it is a seat of power, absolutely. It has such a huge impact, especially on Italy today still. That's right, yeah. It's still very much the figurehead of the country. So just a little bit of a side note, I accidentally brought my drone in my backpack and they have tight security as the Vatican should, right? You're probably thinking, how can it be an accident to bring your drone? But sometimes we just don't know exactly what we're gonna do. So we'll bring things just in case yeah. we need it. But anyway, we got in. It's a bit of a line up in the hot sun and I was additionally sweating because we realized the Jeep has his drone in his backpack and there's tight security here, but they didn't have a problem with it. So. I'm Italian, you know, I just gave him a 50 and we're all good. Danny and I, we aren't really religious, but it didn't stop us from coming and appreciating the history and everything that obviously you know the Vatican to be. So, had a good day. Saw the, 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 the previous popes that have passed away down in the tombs. You're not allowed to film there. But it, was, it makes you appreciate human history and they would have had all ambitions and woke up every morning with plans and, and ideas for the way they want to live their life and then fast forward to the present. A lot of history, beautiful architecture, lovely colours, plenty of gold. I think they're a bit hard up on cash but um, we bought some souvenirs so they'll be fine now. Anyway, good day, good times, let's go. So that was Rome. It really is magical. It's the small details and hot tip, if you are staying there, I recommend you get your accommodation in Trastevere. It's a very hip, cool space with lots of good food. <laughs> 
If there's some other vegans out there watching this, I recommend going to Buddy. It is so much fun. Yeah, we didn't unfortunately get a lot of footage of Buddy because we were so excited because we had traditional Italian food, vegan style. You can see it on our Instagram page if you want to. I'll put it in a highlight because I got some on my phone. Nice natural plug there, Danny. I do not know how anyone can say Rome is overrated. It's, it is one of my favorite places on earth. I've been to a lot of places. That's right. We don't like to compare and, and I guess, rate places in terms of which is better and which is worse. We say every experience is an experience, but Rome is right up there because I'm half Italian, but beyond that, it's just a city that you'll never forget. We have to go back. Yeah, I can't wait. I really can't. Mm. Speaking of Italy, we were there probably in total about five weeks. So we have plenty of videos coming from Italy. Pompeii, Venice, where else, Danny? Plena no Amare. Oh, coast. Yeah, Lido. Did we get anything in Lido? We did, yeah, in Venice, or a different part of Let's Venice. Share. We even went to Benevento, my mum's home place, which has a dark history. Point is, we have plenty of footage and plenty of videos coming from Italy, so stay tuned. And if you're not sure of my discussion about conduct of the Catholic Church, then you'll have to watch our uh, Benevento episode. Yeah, that's probably enough for now, Dan. I think we'll sign off. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you have an issue with anything we've said in this video, let us know in the comments. We're not going to delete them, we'll, we'll talk about it. We've only had one hater comment so far, and it was, <laughs> <laughs> you look like a llama and a donkey. Uh, but we don't know who is who, we never found out. Who do you reckon? Which one? I don't know. Am I the llama or the donkey?